want to welcome everybody back. You may have noticed that my team looks slightly uh, better dressed than they were before. It's because I took some time to give them the best armor and weapons and whatnot. Now they look really sexy. Alright, now I need to remember where the heck I was going. I don't remember! I never do! I w okay... Oh yeah, okay, okay, I talked to that guy. The Hanar. About the chick who's... The Asari consort lady. It's not even a real door! Bad at this. This is bad. Hello. Excuse me, Commander Dude. Shepard. Commander Shepard. My name is Samesh Bhatia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. Sorry if you could hear that echoiness. I hopefully got rid of that. What do you need? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. Why did they refuse your request? There's got to be some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. We'll look into it. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. All right, I well. just want to give my wife a proper funeral and the respect she deserves. Since it is like right over here, uh, we'll go and uh, talk to these people right away. Okay, I don't remember which direction takes me to the expensive bar. No. Ooh, that's C-Sec. Here we go. Here's a person. This a place seems strange. Where's the remote? My goodness, your Commander Shepard. Your activities Jeez, made for quite a briefing me. in the diplomatic corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? Yes. A man named Samesh Bhatia is having some trouble claiming his wife's body. Ah, Mr. Bhatia. A good man in an understandably frustrating position. I wish I could help him. Serviceman Nirali Bhatia died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Bhatia no doubt told you. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. You're studying her injuries to learn more about Geth weaponry. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Respectfully, Serviceman Batia may save more lives in death than she did in life. I don't know, I am in favor of this kind of thing. So, let's, let's check out some of this other stuff. How long do you think this research is gonna take? This is a long-term study. I wouldn't expect the bodies to be released for a year or longer. You gotta have a lot of bodies. Can't you release one? Very few bodies had this new type of weapon damage, and very few were in good enough condition to study. Beyond that, Commander, we need as many bodies as we can to get a reasonable sample size. When will this research result in actual new technology? If we're lucky, we'll actually realize usable technology from this study in a few years. I'll tell Samesh. Next time you cut up a dead soldier, at least tell her husband the truth. That Damn was right. just the reaction we were hoping to avoid, Commander. But if you think it will help, tell Mr. Batia the truth. Perhaps he will understand. Please let me know if you have any other questions. I'll just grab you, if you know what I mean. Scan this keeper. It's a keeper. Made a cute little noise. Do, 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 do. The guy who's rubbing talk tables now. I'm very back busy. there. All right, let's go talk to this guy about his uh, wife's body and how it's being used for science. I'm kind of in favor of that. I mean, when I die, they're gonna use all my parts <laughs> as long as they're usable. Hello, Commander. Has any progress been made with Mr. Bosker? Will he return my wife's body? It's not as simple as I'd hoped. 
The military needs your wife's body for important tests. Tests? They're holding my wife's body for tests? My wife served the Alliance faithfully. She gave her life for humanity. And this is how they repay her. Mr. Bacha, your wife died defending humanity. We still need her help. What right does the military have to hold her body? She's already given her life. If the military had asked your wife to submit to tests to save human lives, what would she have said? It doesn't matter. She's dead. I just want her to come home. I miss her so much. Let them run their tests. Let my wife save lives so that others are spared the loss I feel today. Goodbye. Thank you for finding me answers. Oh, I got some Paragon points for that. I didn't think I was going to. So I kind of failed that. Alright. Let's go get hit up some mass transit here. I'm going to go to CSEC and talk to that short-ass dude about his tall-ass friend. I think he's over this way. I remember. He's in one of these directions. He might be probably the other way. I bet he's the other way. Turian. Is it hanging out? Oh no. Oh no, here he is. Hello again. Did you have any luck finding Shorbin? I found out you've been lying to me, Jolid. Lying? Why would I lie to you? You forgot to mention the data about the Keeper. Uh, he told you? I didn't mean for any of this to happen. I was afraid Shorbin would kill me to get the data, so I... Well, I was hoping you'd take care of him. I'm scanning the Keepers for Shorbin, but you two need to stop fighting. You're... You're helping us? But... Well, if you say so. Well, if Shorbin can forgive and forget, then so can I. I appreciate the help, Commander. I better go get that data analyzed. All right. What's up with you, buddy? Hello, Commander. Just chilling. Just chilling. Okay. What the heck kind of missions do I want to do next? I wonder if there are any keepers in there. <laughs> Probably. I can't remember where I've been for the keeper quest, so I'm just gonna look around in CSEC. So I know. Okay. Okay, then I probably got him. If that guy's if that guy's been got, then I probably got him. I think I went down that way before. Let us consult the journal. Okay, all right. Let's do this one. I am using a guide. So we're gonna do the reporter's request mission. Whoa, let's get some textures up in this hallway. There we go. So I can probably finish this easy one. I'm guessing. Tally, huh? What what is it, sweetie? I love Tally. She's like she's like Kaylee from uh, Firefly. Dancers are highly respected among my people. But I get the feeling these women are not held in high esteem. What gives you that notion, Tally? <laughs> yeah, you can go back in. I was worried that I wasn't going to be able to get back in here, but it says that you can't get back in here, so... Because if you remember, we had to leave kind of quick to go save Tally. Ah, I was 
slip of the finger. Oh well, we've got Omni Gel. Ah, out of my way, kids. Anything else in here? Not really. If you hear a random like chewing sound, it is a chewing sound. It's my uh, pet rat who is positioned directly above where I am doing this let's play, and she is chewing on her brand new chewy log that I bought her today. She went through her last one in like a day, so she really likes them, I guess this way and make sure we didn't miss anything on our way to save Tally. Open. Open. There we go. This hallway is so red. That's how I always remember it. It's a very red hallway. Is that the sound? It's just Garrus. Just Garrus. There we- I knew I missed something. There was a keeper down here. the guide again here. Unless, was she just like, yeah, she's just kicking it back in here. Word on the street is that you've been busy. Congratulations on taking down Fist. Yep. I was sure he was a big Actually, player in anything going on here. Did you find anything in his office that could help me? Technically, uh, Rex shot him, but uh, here you go. These OSDs might have the information you're looking for. <laughs> you've got Fist files? This could be even bigger than I'd hoped. Here, Commander, for your trouble. What would my future cooperation be worth? Say, an interview when my investigation is over? Exclusive? You talk to me before you talk to anyone else? That would be worth quite a bit, and uh, I'd be very happy to compensate you accordingly. Here you are. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should go see what's on these discs. Why can't I interview with her in the second game instead of annoying bitch from hell who usually ends up getting punched by me? Oh, now that's sweet. Look at that. Oh. Snuggling. Alright, let's consult the journal again. Ah, I could go back to the Asari consort. I should do that. But we'll save that for the next Let's Play. So for now, this one might be kind of short, but we're going to cut it short. And then when we come back, we'll go visit the Asari consort. Next time you cut up a dead soldier, at least tell her husband the truth. <laughs>